Um, what's your name? Brian Graves. I'm the lead operator for YCRadio.org. Um, can you spell your name? Yes, it's Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, like Nancy, last name Graves, that's G-R-A, B like victory, E-S like Sam. Alright, you are, um, can you explain the importance of this event and, and how the radio, the, the redesign of the studio has developed? Um, the, the point of this event is to honor uh, a person who um, donated um, funds for us to be where we are and for us to have what we have. Uh, it's been a long time coming um, and we're finally seeing the, the fruits of those who have pushed this for the last several years. We're finally seeing the fruits of their labor and uh, we need to, to, to uh, have a special occasion uh, to thank those, all those that, that were involved. But one person in particular is Mr. Ray Warren who is a uh, Distinguished alumni. That's right. I used to go to school here. Yes. Executive Price President and Chief Revenue Officer of a MPC Sports Regional Network and Sportsnet NY. Um. Can you explain how the city had developed? Now, we all know what Ray did, but um, how how the city used to look like? Wow. Uh, it was actually a shell. Um, but there was a vision within that shell that um, kept people moving forward, kept people pushing forward uh, to try to make it even better than it was at that time. Um, and uh, it, we, again, we've just seen how it has developed and how much the students who are aware that we have a radio station have gotten involved. Uh, I've been involved with this station for about a year now, as of last October, uh, this past October rather, and um, the, the volume of interest has grown, almost doubled, almost tripled uh, since I've been here uh, uh, October of 2012. Um, what is, um, Alright, that's fine. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you for being a part. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm assuming, yeah, um, I needed the day off. What? Um, I'm assuming we're not going to do a show on Wednesday since the Friday section schedule. Yeah. I'll yeah. see you after Thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Thanksgiving. Alright. Have a good one. What does, right. what does this studio have that the old one did not have? Uh, well, it's got, um, more equipment. Um, I won't say updated equipment, but it is kind of updated to, to a degree where students can actually learn uh, not only the front end of radio, which is hosting a show or doing a show live on the internet, they can also learn how to engineer uh, shows or maybe even do commercials, how to record commercials, how to edit commercials. I can teach them how to do that with the equipment that we have now. Um, the, this, to the physical studio itself, there's some soundproofing here, as I see. Yes, yes. This, this soundproofing is, is is actually crucial when it comes to um, using a microphone because what it does is that it keeps the sound uh, close to the microphone. It doesn't make a person sound like they're in a cave or in a tunnel or in a basement somewhere. So acoustics is, is very is very necessary for any kind of uh, recording entity or a, a recording um, enterprise. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome very much. <laughs> I hope that worked for you. All right. Um, you're, you're Tony Andrews, right? Yes. You are the... Um, the Assistant Director of Student Activities. Um, can you explain how this whole radio station, the new studio, how it all developed and everything? Okay, so... got to speak loud. So, 15, 16 years ago, I went to an IT technology conference for the City University of New York. And one of the workshops I attended, they discussed internet broadcasting on college campuses. And that's where I really learned of the idea of broadcasting on the internet radio broadcasting on the internet. Yeah. From that point, I began um, a, a long mission of trying to build an internet radio station at your college. Um, and what, how, how, it, how it developed after that? How it developed after that. So, so what, um, we, had, we had meetings on the college campus uh, made up of individuals, interested parties, stakeholders, or potential stakeholders, throughout 
the college campus, and we started to discuss putting together a college internet broadcasting radio station. And then we got the broadcast journalism staff involved, and they went to the Senate and asked the Senate for support, and I went to the President simultaneously with our committee and asked the President for his support in the Cabinet, and they gave our support. Thank you, Tommy Z. Thanks for being a part of it. was a nice event. Thank you. I, I, I will. I will. We'll do another show after Thanksgiving. Okay. Tommy Z. Have a good one. And let's do a show. Oh! Alright, can we pick it up from where were you? Alright, let's pick it from where we left off. I'm sorry? Pick, up, pick it up from where we left off. So, as we began to get support from the Senate, we also simultaneously got support from the President and the President's Cabinet. And that's really where it took off. I was then able to get tremendous support from our Vice President of Student Development at the time, Janice Jones, and our Dean of Student Development, Paula Lalande. And they really gave me a, a tremendous amount of support. And along with Dr. Gene Phelps, gave me the support I needed to continue to make this happen. Mm -hmm. um, and then the studio. Can you explain how the studio has developed over time? Like well, how it we, used to look we, like and how it looks well, like Well, Dan Phelps and, and Peter Ty. Peter Ty gave Dan Phelps the responsibility of designing a radio station. I had designs for a radio station based upon the College of Staten Island's radio station. But it was Dan Phelps who really kind of updated my designs and created and built this radio station for me here. It was his IT designs that made this happen. The city that we have right now. A large part of it was designed by Dan Phelps. The refurbished station was done and, and designed by Noel Gamboa, our college architect. And some of the equipment we had, we used in this station, of course. But then Brian Graves and John Bruno helped purchase new equipment. So it's really been a combination of the stuff that we did originally with Dan Phelps, and then Joe Salzone in the middle, bringing stuff in um, and bringing equipment and design. And then a final design with Ray Warren's assistance by Noel Gamboa and purchasing of equipment by Brian Graves and John Bruno. All right. And how does the city look right now as, as compared to in the past? It's beautiful. It's um, it's fantastic. It's a work of art. Huh. Um, it even has soundproofing now. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We made sure that we did soundproofing, and so that was key. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, that. Andrew. All right, so you're John Brunner again, right? Yeah. Um, so how how much more beautiful does the studio look right now than as it compared to before? Oh, before um, it was just basically a desk with a computer with the microphones. Now we have a lot of equipment. We have soundboard. We have a new. We actually have a sound system that helps us produce our shows. Um, we have more computers. We, we're in a very good stage right now. That's really all I can say. No, it's real. All right. Thank you very much. Not a problem.